Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC to do everything DIY. Today we have a service call for a walk-in refrigerator. And it's over 60 degrees in here. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. Today we're walking in a walk-in cooler. It's actually a split system. The condensing unit is above there. Complaint that it is too warm as far as the door thermometer. We are past the 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see what's going on. One of the first things I do is make sure that both blowers are running or however many there are. One, two, both blowing air. Check thermostat setting. It's between 35 and 40 degrees, which is good. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Let's make our way to the condensing unit. So this is a split system. As you can see, pipes go out there. And this is a water-cooled unit. This is a water-cooled condenser. And here's the water regulating valve. If you look at the spring, you can see that spring is down. So the pressure is gonna be up here. But this coil is definitely sweating. So the water is actually chilly. One thing to pay attention to, see if the compressor is hot. It's not, so this thing hasn't even been trying to start. Let's make sure that this condensing unit is getting power because we already know that the indoor unit is getting power as the fans are running, but this is a separate source here. So, let's see what's going on. Also, I got my wireless probes on here. Let's see if there's any pressure issues. Maybe that's preventing it from starting as we do have a low pressure control. All right, so I got my meter. I opened up a little control panel here. Volt AC, this is my power coming in, coming from this little handy box. This little terminal block here. So I'm just gonna check one lead on each. No power. All right, that's a clue. We gotta figure out why. All right, so I know there's a breaker panel back here. This is in the middle, this trip. So we put on off, put on on. Okay. Didn't trip. Let's check if we have that power now. You see we have power now. 206, 208, so we got our 208. Single phase. And nothing's happening. All right. So my standing pressure is 60 PSI G, which is kind of low. But there is a solenoid valve here. Let's check voltage here zero volts across the low pressure control so that's not holding us out okay this is the compressor terminal careful when you're doing this because there's power in there oh there we go found a problem don't make fun of my uh <laughs> my special flashlight here I left my other light on the job and I lost the first one. So having bad luck with that. But I can see right there, we got a broken wire on the common terminal. Now that is not a beautiful thing, but finding it, that's a beautiful thing right there. So all these terminals are worn out. One of the wires broke off. So I guess it overamped and it tripped our breaker. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Take a walk over to the truck and see if I got something so we can make that repair. Before I repair all these wires on this compressor and waste my time, I'm gonna make sure with a mega meter that the windings are still good, the insulation. So we're good in one terminal. So above a thousand, we have no light here. So in this case, we're good. And I'm just gonna check each one to ground 
and I'm gonna make a separate video on this, so definitely stay tuned for that. So all the wires are off the terminals. Terminals look decent, so I wanna repair the wires, but if you look here, I mean, look at this. This thing is just no encasement. Wire knots, wire knots inside there, it's terrible. And this thing is broken in here. Let's show a little love and appreciation for this unit and get it going for the summertime. So I'm gonna rewire all of this and we're gonna put on new solderless connectors. Let's see if this thing starts. So I got some BX cable, some connectors. Let's see what we can do here to revive. All right, got new connections. Ran the BX, looks good. Made my connections inside. Let's go ahead and turn on the breaker and see what happens. I hear the compressor start. Now that is a beautiful thing. All right, we got a 21 back pressure, 160 head. All right, looking pretty decent. I would like to adjust that water regulating valve. The spring is all the way down, meaning we're restricting pressure. So the head pressure is gonna be up from that. But we wanna give this some time, let this thing work. And after about five, 10 minutes, we should average out and really get the pressures that, you know, the systems are actually running on. But for now, let's let it run and uh, check temperatures in the box and see what happens. But this is great, great news. System is staying on, everything's looking good. Box temperature is coming down. We're at about 48 degrees, so it's just a matter of time before we satisfy. And this was a great job. Honestly, this unit is in really poor shape. As far as that coil, it really is rotting away. This looks like a leak waiting to happen. Had quite a few service calls on this unit in the past year, and it might be time for an update. I adjusted the water regulating valves. Now the head pressure is down to 150. Back pressure is at 21.2. Our suction line is pretty cold. It's not perfect, perfect, but it's gonna do the job. So just a matter of time before the temperatures come down and everybody's gonna have cold beer. <laughs> so we're gonna end the service call here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like comment subscribe and I'll catch you all next time